guys, what is up? It is Dalton here, and welcome back to Video Game Finds number 49. And this week, we got quite a bit of good stuff here. Uh, let's see, I think only one thing from eBay, and the rest is all local goods. And we got a pretty good amount of stuff here. Uh, stuff I wasn't expecting to find. It was kind of like a last-minute deal for a lot of this stuff, uh, which was yesterday on Saturday. We found a bunch of stuff. Uh, but throughout the week, it was pretty dry. But we found some pretty good stuff, me and my brother Tyler, we did yesterday. And, uh, but anyways, we'll go ahead and start with, uh, what I found during the beginning of the week, uh, which was just, like, a quick run out to a couple of the, uh, thrift stores around here, like ARK and Goodwill, and I found a couple of games from our local ARK thrift store, and this was on Tuesday, I believe, and I wasn't really expecting to find much, because I was just, you know, real quick, just, because I, um, you know, I was just out and about real quick, you know, I just decided to stop in. And I found a couple of cool games that I did not have for the collection, so now I'm going to be adding them. And uh, there's one GameCube game here and one Wii game. Uh, the GameCube game here is fairly hard to find. Um, it's more popular, let's say. And uh, I thought it was pretty cool to see on the shelf. And uh, that is Star Wars Bounty Hunter for the Nintendo GameCube here. And it is complete. It's got the disc and the manual and the pamphlet in there. It is missing the uh, Star Wars trading card, uh, unfortunately, but I'm not too big at loss for that because uh, the game is complete and in beautiful shape otherwise. Um, and I thought it was really cool to see that in there. That was really cool. So there's that one. And then the Wii game here, and this one's like brand new shape. I mean, played only a couple times. And that is Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. And that is like in brand new shape. And that one is also complete. And what was going on here, what ARC does for their, um, for how they do their discounts and stuff, they have different colored sticker tags for uh, different price things. Kind of like, uh, you know, I think Goodwill does that sometimes too. They have different colored stickers and stuff. Um, what ARC did was they had different colored stickers on both of these games. The only color that was half off during the week, they only picked one color out of each day of the week. And the color that happened to be half off was orange. And uh, the Star Wars Bounty Hunter was orange, but the Epic Mickey game was a uh, pink sticker. So what happened was there was only going to be a half off on the Star Wars Bounty Hunter. But when I got to the cash register, they were both the same price at $2.99 each. Uh, the cash register uh, lady there, she said, you know what, let's just uh, put, you know, two of them for the half off price because, you know, they're basically the same kind of media. So they, she decided to just, you know, do half off on both. So I got both of these games for $3, which is an amazing deal. Uh, Star Wars Bounty Hunter easily reaches $20. Uh, Epic Mickey goes for about um, 7 8 give or take, depending. Um, but in that shape, I'd say an easy 8 So, I mean, you've got 20 some almost 30 some dollars worth of games here. Um... I'm not bragging or anything, but I think that's just really, really cool. Um, I mean, I just get a kick out of it when I find really cool games for, you know, an amazing deal. And it's just, you know, for it's just free money to them anyway because this stuff was donated, so they really don't care. Um, but I just thought it was awesome to find these games in there. That was really cool. So there's those. There's the store for those for the beginning of the week there. All right, now here is, uh, once again, a stack of manuals, but not very many at all. Um, and the reason for this title of this video this week, um, but this was a really cool find. Um, I bought a stack of four manuals here off of eBay. The price ended up being $14.50, um, but these are fairly good manuals, and the reason that this was a good deal, especially after I show what was in here, um, I'll explain why. But there's one Super Nintendo one here, and then a couple, or a few uh, N64 ones here. So first I'll show you the uh, Super Nintendo one here. Uh, but this one is Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's in very good shape uh, for, you know, its age. It's got crinkles and stuff, but I mean, hey, it's, you know, fairly old. But, I mean, it's in very good shape for what it is. And still need to find this game, but I got the manual now, so there's that one. Very cool. And then I got a few 64 ones here. First one is Duke Nukem 64. There's that one. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. And then... The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And I have one like this, but it's missing the uh, front front and back, like, you know, fold cover. So this one will upgrade my manual that I have, and I'll sell off my other one. 
And the cool thing about this lot is there was one bonus manual that they did not know they had inside. This was stuffed inside the Zombies Ate My Neighbors manual in the back. I don't know if they thought it was like an attachment for like a pamphlet or something. I thought so first too. So, but I was really excited to pull this out of the manual. And it is a Harvest Moon 64 and 64 manual. And I thought that was the coolest hidden bonus in anything that I've gotten in a really long time. And it was, it was really cool because I thought it was like a pamphlet, probably like what they thought it was. And I just, you know, I pull it out and it's like a completely separate manual. And it was and it's a really good game, too. It just happened to be a really good game. So very, very cool. Um, yeah, so there's like a bunch of really good manuals in here. I'm really happy to add these to the collection. So fourteen fifty for, I guess, now the five manuals because, you know, it's listed for four, but there actually is five. Uh, so really not a bad deal at all. I kind of uh, calculated that in with the previous manuals that we've been picking up the last couple weeks. And it makes everything now about a total of like 50 cents or so per manual or pamphlet. Which, if you ask me, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors for 50 cents and stuff. And Harvest Moon 64 and Zelda and all that for 50 cents each is a steal of a deal. Especially off of eBay. So very, very cool. I'm really happy to add these to the collection. It's awesome. So very cool. All right. Now we'll move into all the local stuff that we found yesterday. And this is pretty cool. This is a pretty good little haul of stuff that we found all on Saturday, which is really cool. I was not expecting all this, but I'm kind of glad we found some stuff. So first thing here, we went to our local Goodwill. They were having a half-off sale. So this would have been 4 bucks, but it ended up being 2 But I thought it's you know a little good booster to help add to you know funds for my collection and schooling and stuff. And that is a copy of Wii Sports. And it is complete in the little um, folder pamphlet thing here. It's got the manual and the disc is in very good shape. Um, so yeah, $2 for that. Very good deal. Those are pretty uh, hard to find sometimes, but they're very popular if you sell them to the right people. So there's that. And then we went to our local ARC thrift store and uh, found a PSP AC adapter charger here. Um, and this was 2 bucks as well, and it works very well. These go for about... Uh, 10 or so I think but uh, I mean I could always use extras of these so that was very cool very happy to find something like that So there's that and we also found a DVD there I believe for two bucks and it was a uh, Shaun of the Dead I already put that one away but Shaun of the Dead is a very good funny movie so if you guys haven't checked that out that's a pretty funny movie but anyways that was uh, something that we picked up there as well I just remembered um, alright and then let's see what else do we got Oh, another Goodwill that we went to. This isn't our local Goodwill, but we, we have two in our, you know, that are kind of close to each other, but not really. They're two separate cities, but uh, it's close enough that we go to a lot. So, anyways, we got uh, quite a few good things here. Um, my buddy George that I know is up there again, and he uh, picked this stuff early on uh, Saturday morning, and he decided, you know, let me have it because I asked him about it, and he's like, sure, go for it. So... He spotted me with a bunch of more good game stuff, which I thought was really, really cool. So, first thing we'll start off here is he found a slim PlayStation 2 console here. Never been opened up. And it's in fairly good shape. And it worked very, very well. Um, not a problem with it at all. It didn't skip discs or anything, so that was very good. Uh, and this was $3. It was half off from 6 So there's that. And this was kind of weird. They had every little piece for it separated. Like, I'll explain here. The power brick, supposed to go with it. It was plugged into it, but it had a $1.99 sticker on it. I'm not sure um, why they did that, but it was, you know, bundled with it, but it was priced separately. So this was a dollar. So that's, so far, $4. Very odd, but, you know, whatever. And then a controller came with it. Didn't have any AVs, but I have plenty of those. But it came with an official controller here, uh, marked at three, half off $1.50. So, I mean, everything was still cheap enough, but it was, like, separated, like, you know, people were going to piece it apart anyway. But, I mean, why wouldn't you just buy it all at once? But I haven't seen them done that before, but, you know, they did it this time. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a new tactic they're trying to attack with, but, I mean, whatever. It's still, it was still a really, really good deal for, I'm not complaining, but it was just kind of odd how they individually priced each piece. It's like, um, I'll show you here in a second, but um, I got these for $1.50 each as well, and that is three more controllers here, one with the emerald green one there, uh, One, the emerald green one here is missing the thumb pads, and one of the black ones here is missing the left thumb pad, but other than that, they're all in good shape, um, $1.50 each, they all work, I can't complain, um, they definitely help out, 
you know, either upgrading some of my controllers or, you know, going with other PS2s that I'll be, you know, selling off with games that I have doubles of, stuff like that. So, very cool. $1.50 each for controllers, $3 PS2, not a bad deal at all. And this was also really cool what he had, and I was excited to uh, see because I haven't picked one up before. Um, and that is a Nintendo Wii console here. And it's uh, missing the ports there, or the cover there, but it is the GameCube one, which is more popular. Um, and it's missing the front co uh, cover port there as well. But um, what's very cool about this is that it actually came with everything except for the sensor bar. But I have a couple sensor bars. But here's the console here. This was $3 as well. And what I was explaining was it had the uh, AV cords here as well. But they even individually priced the AV cords at $1.99, uh, but it was half off. But it was kind of weird. They even individually priced you know, the smallest pieces they could possibly put with it. Which is kind of odd, because it all goes with it, you know, but they individually priced it. But, I mean, that's not my idea, but that's what they went with, so. And anyways, it came with a uh, power cord here, a um, dollar. So that's five so far. And then this was bundled together, the Wiimote here and the Nunchuck. And these were bundled together for a dollar as well, so that's six bucks. And then the um, sensor bar I paid for was a dollar, so I completed a Nintendo Wii for seven dollars. And then what was stuck inside the console was a copy of uh, Wii Sports. Uh, the disc was, it was just the disc. I already had this uh, case and manual. Um, I'm not sure where I got it. I don't remember. I think it came in like a manual bundle or something a long time ago. But I ended up having this and I put the disc in there. So it's basically a complete Wii set for $7, which is an amazing deal. I mean, I could not believe I found that in there with, you know, I couldn't believe the game was in there still, which is what I was thinking. But it's pretty cool. Um, and we looked at the previous history on the console, it hadn't been played in two years, which is, I mean, that's pretty typical, but it's just, you know, thinking back on a console that, you know, actually tracks data like that, it's kind of odd to just think how long it was just sitting there with the game in it and everything, just for two years and unplayed and everything, so, but anyways, very cool deal, couldn't believe it, um, really happy for, you know, George having the, that stuff again, so that's very cool. And then we check their back room outlet that they have. They have a um, 99 cents everything that you, you know, anything that you can find, 99 cents each item. It used to be, you know, not open to the public at all. It was just their sorting facility in the back of the store. Now they have it to where you can just basically treasure hunt for whatever you want. And uh, me and Tyler actually ended up finding one PS2 game back there. It was only a buck, so I thought that was pretty good. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's in brand new shape. And it's the second one to what I have already, and that is the Getaway Black Monday. And it's uh, brand new, basically. I mean, played a couple times. Uh, the case feels like a brand new game. So, I mean, very cool. It's got everything in it. Um, it's got the little pamphlet down there, too. Even the case doesn't open all the way. That's how new it is. So that's very, very cool. Um, we were there, and the guy that rung us out, the cashier there, he told us that a lady earlier yesterday morning had found an N64 with three controllers, Mario Kart 64, and a couple other games. And... Don't get me wrong, but an N64 for a dollar, or Mario Kart 64 for a dollar, or a controller for a dollar is just mind-blowing. I could not believe that he told me that, because I, I kind of wish he hadn't, because I was, you know, kind of disappointed. Me and my brother were both disappointed after hearing that, but, I mean, you can't find everything. It's uh, literally impossible. You just can't find it all, but, I mean, you can still find good stuff, but you're not going to be able to find everything. So, it's just a hit and miss, you know, with game collecting. You just... Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. It just depends on timing and all that stuff. So, But anyway, last little bit of stuff here came from another art thrift store. Uh, pretty similar uh, in distance to that Goodwill that we got most of that stuff from uh, in the separate city that we go to. But um, we got four PS2 games here, two Xbox games, and a catalog. And I'll explain how everything went down here. But two Xbox games here. Pretty good. They'll help bundle up, and I can sell these for, you know, games that I want for my collection and stuff, for PS2 or whatever. Uh, but the first one here is Tony Hawk's Underground. Complete. And then Thief Deadly Shadows. Also complete. It had a really bad, like, rounded, like, rental sticker on the front. It took me a while to get off, probably like a half hour, because I had to let it soak. Um, I put, like, you know, some WD-40 on the front, and just let the you know, WD-40 soak into the sticker, and then the sticker just came right off, which was awesome, so, but, um, I don't recommend doing WD-40 unless you really, really know what you're doing, I mean, sometimes I really don't know what I'm doing, but, I mean, I, I made sure to take everything out of it, like the, you know, instructions and the, 
um, insert in the disc and everything and just have an empty case and but I was very delicate and careful with it and it came off right away so not bad so those two were uh, all these games were two dollars each by the way so there's two dollars each there and then these four PS2 games uh, one I did not have and the other three I will be bundling with PS2s and stuff or I might still look for upgrades I'm not positive yet but um, anyways here's the first one this is the one I do not have and that is 2K Sports NHL 2K10 and it's in fairly good shape. The manual is um, a little water damaged, but uh, other than that, it is complete. And this actually runs for like eight to ten bucks, believe it or not. So that was pretty cool. Um, now I just need to find like you know two K eleven and stuff and get those going because those are where they get harder to find because it's a later you know release game for an older console. So that's how that works. And then these games are uh, basically for putting with PS twos. First one here is Grand Theft Auto three complete with the map poster. Grand Theft Auto Vice CD. What? Grand Theft Auto Vice City, excuse me. Um, and this one is complete as well with the map. And uh, NBA Street, which is Grace Hits, but it's also complete. So very good shape. And then the last thing here is a 2008 Nintendo catalog. And it's I thought it was pretty cool. You know, it's just cool to have these little books lying around and stuff. But um, it did not have a price tag on it. And I don't know if the cashier thought it was, you know, bundled with a game or something, but I did not get uh, charged for this. So this was basically thrown in for free, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, I couldn't believe, you know, I thought they would have priced it like a dollar or something, but they didn't even price it. So um, basically $2 a game and, you know, a free uh, catalog you cannot go wrong with. So, all right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, telling your friends. It really helps me out, my brother out. Uh, it's really cool to see you guys come back every week and enjoy the stuff that I find. And It's just awesome how we have this community and everything. It's just really cool how we build this up. And then, you know, I share it back with you guys every single week. I, I enjoy it. It's really fun. Um, every time I pick something up, I feel like a part of you guys are with me every time. Because I get to show you guys at the end of the week what I got. And it's just really cool to share that experience with you guys. So, anyways guys, thank you. Um, what I'm going to start doing actually, uh, in the description you can find my eBay store. If you guys want to check that out, I do list some stuff. Um, it's not the cheapest prices in the world. Um, but you could probably find some stuff to your benefits if you really want it. Um, but I don't usually put a whole lot of stuff up just because I don't find it all the time. Um, basically, and you know, since with school starting up here pretty soon, it'll kind of slow my production down on eBay. But if you guys want to check that out, that'll be in the description below. Um, so I'll start, you know, trying to add that to each video now. If you guys want to, you know, check out and see what I get new and stuff. If you guys want to see some of this stuff, if you guys want to personally buy this stuff, um, I'm okay with that because I mean, you know, it's on eBay, it's for the world to see. So, anyways, uh, thank you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Happy gaming as always, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Take care, guys. See you later.